Andrea. All right. Is some of the criticism against Damon warranted? What do you guys think, Audrey? I actually surprisingly kind of agree with Matt that we are painting these predators with pretty broad strokes. And it has to go back to there is not a culture, there are not mechanisms for women to be protected in the first place. Is it different, though, because you can say that because you're a woman versus somebody like Matt Damon saying that? Absolutely. I think that I can say that, but that's not so much, right? <laughs> well, that was the big problem. I said, I, I get where he's going with it, but he's a white man in America on television right yeah. now, not the person that we want to hear from. And on that note, I, I got to think that his examples were really bad. When, yeah. you're say, when your lowest example is slapping a woman on the butt, that can still get you fired. That can get you a lot of trouble. That is sexual harassment. That can't be your lowest standard. Well, Alyssa Milano's point, too, which I found yeah. interesting, yes, there's different uh, spectrums of all of this, but she referred to it all as a cancer. There are different stages of cancer, mm -hmm. but it's still a cancer. And finally, we're acknowledging that cancer. I think that is the best part of all of this, is that we're all talking about it, that this is a dialogue that is being brought up on a daily basis. But I don't want men to be scared to speak because they're going to be attacked. I think it's part of the narrative of change. We need men. That's it's part of it's going to be a mess. Maybe, yeah. you know, we're still trying to figure out what's right and what's wrong, and it's all messy in the middle. Okay, well, Rose McGowan, she continues to be very vocal in the Me Too movement as well. But has she taken it a little too far this time? Because Rose is receiving some backlash from fellow Me Too supporters after she criticized the plans of some actresses planning to wear all black at the Golden Globe in protest of sexual harassment. What do we think of this, guys? Do yes. you think that she went a little too far because she even attacked Meryl Streep? She calls her out on the hypocrisy of it all. I just, I'm just kind of tired of the, the rose rhetoric. I'm just like, listen, if this is what Meryl Streep decides to do or what women in Hollywood decide to do, let them do that. that that's not up to Rose. But it, the rose rhetoric, I mean, she has raised this issue. I she agree. has brought it front and Bring it center. front and center. But if, if Meryl wants to wear black because that is her statement, let her. At least she's talking about it. At least it's being brought up. And we are talking about it right now. She doesn't need to bash someone else for the way that they are handling the situation. But I think women supporting women is really what you need here, too. And you need men supporting women, Because we're too. all fighting the same right. fight. We're all on the same side. From a purely shallow perspective, I'm going to miss all the fashion. Because everyone's going to be black. <laughs> it's it's going to look like a funeral. Which is right? always so fun. I know. I want to see some good fashion. Well, let's that. talk about Mario Batali. He has been fired from the two following multiple accusations of sexual misconduct. He since put out a statement on his newsletter acknowledging his many mistakes and saying my behavior was wrong and there are no excuses. I take full responsibility. Okay. But interesting, after the apology, uh, in case you're searching for a holiday-inspired breakfast, he also posted the pizza dough cinnamon roll oh. <laughs> that are a fan favorite. And he posted a link to the recipe, I have to admit, I laughed. What do we make of the cinnamon roll? Uh, not making them, that's for sure. That's what we're making them. Depends what other delicious they are now. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, 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 o